So this is Zoe, and we are talking about something super cool today, and that is flow, the fundamentals of flow. And this is episode seven in the Project U series. Woohoo! Let's do it. Before we get into the fundamentals of flow, I want to encourage you to think about your professional development for next year. And um, as we've been working through this series, this has all been in support of the theme for the quarter that I'm doing with my group, Amplifiers. Amplifiers is a high-level leadership program for CEOs, managing directors, and senior executives who are looking for a community of like-minded peeps to elevate their thinking, their being, and their doing as leaders so they can move beyond the linear, contained uh, approach of leadership that is the achiever into the amplifier, somebody who becomes more resonant, elevates others, and creates a long-term systemic impact on the organization and communities around them. So it's, yeah, it's stepping up. It means uh, exploring your thinking to a greater de degree, increasing your personal energy and accountability to a huge degree, and really becoming way more effective in a whole bunch of new domains. So if you want solid results year on year, this is the community for you. And we've got our uh, immersion, our next face-to-face -face immersion and virtual immersion coming up February 11 and 12. So if that sounds like it's of interest to you, do have a look on our website at zoerouth.com under programs and you'll find amplifiers there. Would love to meet some other cool leaders like you. Okay, on to the fundamentals of flow. I was first introduced to the concept of flow when I signed up uh, for a writing course in 2020 called um, Flow for Writers. And originally, I was just interested in the writing part. How can I be a better writer? There was a New York Times bestselling author running it, Stephen Kotler, and I thought I could learn a few things about writing here and didn't know much about flow, didn't really care too much about flow. And uh, then I worked out I should care and it's important and it makes the writing better. It makes everything better. Basically, flow is the state when we are at our optimal performance, where we're completely immersed in what we're doing. Our creativity is on fire. Our focus is tunnel visioned and intense, and we can be incredibly productive and creative as a result. Who doesn't want more of that? It's absolutely what we need as leaders in every context. So how do we create it? Well, first of all, you need to know what the flow cycles are. So there is a flow. It's like this cascade of neurochemicals that flood our system, that help us do that creative and intense work. And then we need a break from it because it's overwhelming. So there's a flow cycle and a strategy to it. The first phase of flow is struggle, where you're wrestling with a big idea. I'm kind of in that phase right now with my new book, haha. -ha. And it's kind of, what am I going to think about? How do I wrestle with this big topic? And it's hard work. You know, it's mental gear grinding. And it gets some dopamine and endorphins happening. But that can be exhausting. So that's the first stage. Struggle, you need a release. You know, once you do some big thinking, you need to take a break. Go for a walk, flush out those, those biochemicals, those neurochemicals, and just chill out for a bit. And then you get back to it. And you're all primed. Uh, you need uninterrupted concentration here. So you can focus on creating and building patterns and doing analysis and putting together a project. I was doing this yesterday. I was working on a presentation. I looked up and two hours had gone. I thought I'd been there for 10 minutes. This kind of time distortion is, happens when we're in flow. And what's happening in our bodies is we're getting the dopamine, the norepinephrine, the andanamide, which helps us build connection and creativity. And then as we're coming out of it, we get oxytocin and serotonin, those feel good, yeah, I just did something amazing feelings. So that's the state of flow. And then we need recovery, which is time out to hydrate, stretch, rest. Don't do TV. We just need our brain and body a chance to recoup a little bit. So that's the flow cycle. And we need to be mindful of that. And there's three big things that we need to put in place into our world to prime ourselves for flow. One is meditation. So that hones our ability to focus. The second one is exercise that helps keep our physical instrument primed and energized and recovered well. Um, and the third one, interestingly, the research showed is gratitude. 
because that also primes our brain to be in a receptive state. And that feeling of gratitude can really help us get into flow a lot more easily. So if you don't have a practice of any of those three, time to get stuck in. Those are the important big rocks when it comes to flow. All right, so some other triggers or conditions to help set us up for flow and to really maximizing this potential power is having a purpose, a goal, you know, something that you're working on. You need an element of riskiness. You haven't tried something before. It's new. It's novel. There's there's consequences to it. Um, and along that side of things, it needs to be novel and complex and unpredictable. And that kind of puts the edge on there. You need to have clear goals. So say, for example, with writing, the clear goal is to write a thousand words a day. You know, that's what you do. You can know if you've done it or you haven't. And you need feedback. Are you progressing? Are you getting better? Are there things that you can work on? It needs to have an element of creativity and pattern recognition in it, that you're, you're crafting something and making connections. That, that we can get to with anandamide, which is a hard word to say. It's one of the biochemicals that it's triggered in flow. And there needs to be a challenge skill ratio. This is from Mihai, Csikszentmihalyi, <laughs> which is a fabulous name. And he discovered when there's a right balance between challenge, i.e. it's not too hard, it's not too easy, and your skill level, that you have the Goldilocks zone there. And that helps prime us to get into flow. So that is your whirlwind tour of flow, the fundamentals. What can you implement? What are you already doing? And how can you get more of this juicy flowness? Uh, if you want to know, if you want to take a deeper dive into this stuff, I would recommend the podcast, The Flow Research Collective. And they've got a number of different experts and um, insights into the flow research that's happening and what high performers are doing to access this state more regularly every day, which is what you can do too. All right, that's it from today. Consider taking a look at amplifiers where we are taking peak performance to a whole new level across our leadership domains. Would love to see your uh, application in there so we can have a chat to you and see if it's right for you. In the meantime, hey, live well, lead well.